It's a beautiful early July morning here in the Thumb region of Michigan. A uh, hair one, Scott, and welcome to Crosswell. Crosswell has a very nice little downtown area. It's been around since 1847. As in the 19th century, this area was very popular with the with the lumber and sawmill industry. And as a matter of fact, uh, a lot of the lumber even went over to the east of here to nearby Lexington, where it used to be a big port back back in its day. Unfortunately, back in 1881, there the lumber industry was kind of devastated by a fire in this area. Thankfully though, the Thumb region is very well known for its abundance of, of fertile soil. So even to this day, there are many different farmlands and there's even, even a little bit of a sugar industry here as well as they do grow some sugar beets over here. What we'll, we'll see later in the video, uh, the, one of the sugar factories, uh, Pioneer Sugar, is just off M90 to the southeast of here. Alright, so let's take a walk around downtown a little bit, check out some of the different sites here in the city, and then we'll head over to probably what's the, what is the most famous part of Crosswell, the Swinging Bridge. So let's go. But yeah, we're just just walking by the uh, the uh, Crosswell uh, United Methodist Church. Um, kind of showed in the last segment, but or it's the first United Methodist Church. It's been around since uh, 1914, so it's been around for a little over 100 years, and really like the dome on top of it. But yeah, very nice little downtown area, and it's, it's, it's great to see it even on a Sunday. On a, ho on a holiday weekend, because yeah, the 4th of July is a couple days away. People are out doing some shopping or going out to eat. I'll, I'll be going to do a Travel the Lights video here in town a little bit. Alright, coming up next, we're going to head out that way. We're going to head over to the... I'll show really quick the, the Pioneer Sugar Factory. Right along M90. And then we'll come back in the town and we'll check out the Swing Bridge as it goes over the Black River. And we come just to the south of downtown Crosswell. As you get closer to M90, we have the plant for Pioneer Sugar. If you drive along M90, you can even see this from 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 the well from the south side of the the plant as you go east toward Lexington. And we made it over to the over to the park. It's on both sides of the Black River, and we'll check out the part of the park over there first, and then we'll cross the swinging bridge behind me, and then we'll head over to that side. So here's the northern part of the park, and we have a nice little splash pad area for the for the kids to play in, especially on a nice summer day like this. It got some volleyball courts, and if we head over there. We have a nice little small fishing pier right along the, the Black River. Say, so if you want to do some fishing, you can cast your pole into this river. The Black River flows through Crosswell and heads south all the way to Port Huron, where it empties out into the St. Clair River, just south of where the where Lake Huron flows into the into the St. Clair River. And here it is. This is the most popular attraction here in Crosswell. 
This is the famous swinging bridge. Look how beautiful that is. Man, when crossing this bridge, yeah, you do have to be a little careful because it's it's it is called a swinging bridge because as you cross it, it does swing a little bit. Uh, we'll go across it shortly. Oh, and. Uh, well, and then uh, while you're at it, uh, please do me a favor and, and please be good to your mother-in-law. Yeah, this bridge was constructed back in 1905 and it was for different purposes, uh, one for all the different workers to have an easier access to the to some of the sugar factories over in the east side of the city, and also to, to connect River Bend's Park. And a little fun fact too: this is the longest suspension footbridge in the state of Michigan. But as you can tell, it's a, it does like to swing as you cr cross, so. Just be a little careful while you're going over it. And over here, we also have a beautiful park as well. We got a play area for the kids and even a little area to do some or play some disc golf. But yeah, Crossville is a pretty cool, I have to say. I don't know. I'll definitely have to cross over the bridge again. <laughs> Crosswell has quite a bit to offer from a very nice little downtown area with some nice little shops and restaurants in the town. And then we got the uh, River Bends Park over here along the Black River. And don't forget the, the swinging bridge. So if you enjoyed this video, definitely give this video a like or a thumbs up. For more Scott Man 95 trail videos, definitely click that subscribe button as I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I apologize for the shakiness because I'm standing on the bridge right now. <laughs> At the end of every video, links to my Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram pages. Well, thank you for watching today's video here in Crosswell, Michigan. This is Scott, or the Scott Man, signing out.